Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Uh, I'm off work. Happy times. And we're gonna go dove hunt today. And it should be pretty good. Uh, yesterday I was out there, I looked, there was probably three, 400 dove, and there's a small pond out there. We are, like everywhere, we are super dry here in central Kansas, and there's just no water anywhere, except for these tiny little pockets that somehow hold a little bit. Um, this one's not spring fed like you know some of the local places that are lucky enough to have that but uh, It has been deep enough. It's just protected enough that it does hold water. It's pretty shallow now There's not a lot left But there's still water and good shores the dove have been loving it um, Yeah, I went out yesterday and shot 14 in 45 minutes should have had should have been I should have been done sooner, but um, I <laughs> I got amazed a couple times because you have groups of 30 come in. Sometimes it's hard to pick one out at 15 yards. But anyway, uh, today we have a challenge and it was provided by one of you guys. So we, oh, my kiddos are drawing me stuff. So uh, anyway, we want to give a big thanks, or I do actually, everybody wants to, to Big Mike. So he sent these. Uh, I think they quit making these actually in the mid 90s. And the thing that's really, really interesting about these, uh, for all you guys that have never seen them before, check this out. They're all plastic. Plastic hold everything. Um, yeah, these are the best condition ones I've ever seen. The box does have a little tear. I'm a sucker for these retro vintage style boxes, and I actually feel kind of bad shooting these shells. But Mike said he had an idea for a challenge, and we're gonna make it happen. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be shooting these. I'm gonna try and shoot a limit in a box or less because anything under the box, I get to keep some original shells. So hopefully I'm on today and I have some of these uh, pretty cool vintage shells to keep for myself. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through a whole box trying to get a limit and be a little bit irritated. I mean, I still have a cool piece of cardboard, but uh, it'd be kinda nice to have some of these OG shells here. He also sent, check this out. We got a 410 challenge coming up because we got three boxes of 410. How awesome is that? And he knows that I'm a sucker for these vintage style boxes, these old looking ones. And so he sent me three boxes of 22s. Check this out. When was the last time you saw a box of 50 shells for under a dollar? 78 cents right there. So a anyway, big shout out to Big Mike. Thanks so much, dude. Uh, I hope I don't shoot all these shells because I'm I really want to keep a couple. I mean, they're just cool. Look at them. Anyway, let's get out to the field. I got a buddy meeting me out there. Uh, you guys may or may not remember A5 Aaron. Uh, but yeah, enough talking. Let's get going. Doesn't look like much, but we're here. And since we're here, we might as well get into today's sponsor. You want to guess who it is? It's Die Bomb. Uh, so, teal season did not treat me very well. I was going to make one of their sponsor videos um, about a teal hunt, but... Uh, this year I got two and neither video really played out the way I wanted it to and I wasn't happy with it So we're gonna try again and do this video But uh, yeah, if you guys don't have any of their dry line stuff now, they make great decoys Everyone knows about their decoys. They have awesome silhouettes I hunt geese like those are the only goose silhouettes or the only goose decoys I have I don't even have any full bodies. I've never owned them um, their floaters are amazing. I uh, really wish I could show you more of that stuff, uh, you know, but you'll, you'll see that coming up in the season uh, a lot. So this one, you guys are going to want to see some of the gear uh, if you guys don't necessarily waterfowl hunt. This is a blind bag. Uh, I keep this just uh, for waterfowl right now. During the, the early season stuff or the off season, I'll use it for other stuff. But you just have a big single pocket and then there's two zipper pockets on the sides there. Um, then there's a pocket on the front, a pocket on the back, and here's where I keep all my little extra stuff. Love that. We're gonna be dumping all the shells out of this one because I don't wanna use uh, this box out there. I wanna keep this box as nice as I can. So we're just gonna dump the shells into here and we're gonna take out the backpack. Backpack, I got my motion already down in there. I love the backpack. I can just cram a whole bunch of stuff into it, throw it on, and go. I'm gonna be hunting off uh, the uh, kickback. That's what it is. I even have a base layer and a mid layer in here, but uh, it's warmer than it was the last few days. 
I love all their stuff. Uh, if you guys wanna go check out any of those things, the link will be in the description below. Make sure you go check them out. That's a pigeon. I have ADD, by the way. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you some more of their stuff. And you guys know that I wear Crocs like everywhere. I do like them just because of how easy they are to go on and off. But I have found a new favorite. That's the trudge boots. Check this out. These are Dive Bomb's new trudge boots. They are so nice. Um, if I were you guys, I would order one size bigger than what you need because I like a lot of arch support. They don't have the best arch support, but they are so comfy. So if you're gonna be in them as much as I can, go up one size. Um, one thing I really, really do like about them is these loops here, you can actually get a finger into them. You know how you always end up having to pinch those little, yeah, these are awesome. Really easy to kick on and off. I think this is oversized, I'm not sure. Aggressive tread. I've worn them every day for a week now. I think only one, no, yeah, one day out of the last week that I haven't worn them for at least eight hours. They're that comfy, even without an insole. I just remembered, and uh, yeah, you guys will see the, the torch come out sometime. Um, <laughs> They're so nice, super bright. It's, it's my new favorite headlamp. And one thing that's really awesome about it, check that out. I'll just go ahead and throw it on the ground now, but I'll throw it on the ground twice, cool. Um, anyway, I gotta stop talking. Let's go get set up and uh, I'll show you more of their stuff as we go along as I use it. But big shout out to them. Um, go check them out, they even have cool hats. Yesterday, the dove were flying right along these trees here uh, when it was really close to evening time. They were crossing across here a lot. They were hitting the pond pretty early, not as early as I'm here, but uh, you know, we'll go get set up on them. Better to be a little bit early than a little bit late. Okay, as you can tell, we're about four or five, eh, three or four foot low on water right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a spinner out here and here and then put one on that side. The reason is, is uh, that way, no matter which angle they're coming in from, they do have a chance to see the decoys. Yesterday, I had all three of them on this shore. Anything that was coming in straight on, some, and most of them did it really, really well. I shot a lot of them at 10 yards. Want to put one over on that shore this time, just to make sure that anything coming in from behind me has a chance to get in on the action too. Uh, late season birds, like we're at the end of September here. Uh, these birds have been shot at a lot, and so, they're kind of mojo shy, like these these little pocket pickers. So far, they've treated me really well, but uh, yeah, it seems like they're just not interested in those uh, the big spinners. So, is what it is. Let's get set up. I'm sure Aaron will be here shortly, and uh, the birches start flying in the next half hour. Oh, come back again. Oh, not you. Hi, there you are. <laughs> Oh, he got me again. It's really a lot, not as far as you think it is. It's probably only 30 yards. Oh well. Stuff is starting to pick up though. That's good. That one's dead. <laughs> Bingo. All right. Well, that's two for Aaron. Uh, the first one, I couldn't get the camera on time, but. So that one's dead. Stuff's starting to heat up. Birds are coming around more. It's what, an hour? Yeah, about an hour after I said we should be here. It's about the time birds typically leave the sunflower field. So I think it should pick up from here on out. Looking forward to it. We're having a, there's one coming over the trees here. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad way for me to turn. He still wants it. He's laying right there. Oh no, I missed! He still wants it. Oh, he's dead. He went down. Okay. Where'd that shell go? I want to keep all these holes here just in case they're good for reloading. But, uh. Uh oh. No, ooh, that was a flock of like eight. Oh, well, if this happens all the time, that's not a good thing, though. Oh, he's even dead, dead. Okay. Um. That one's a hot one. Oh, these fences. We're just gonna leave that right there. Ugh. 
Okay. Bird number one. There we go. One for one. Wasn't a good shot, but I got him. Hopefully the gun cycles better on the next ones. We'll see. I might be single shooting the whole time. Ooh. Made you wait too long for the camera. <laughs> That bird uh, came in out of nowhere. <laughs> Blame it on the A5, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna pop on which side. Yeah, he's gonna swing right out in front of us. I shot the tail end of him because, uh, I was afraid I was going to shoot my spinner there at the last second. I was like, oh, he's getting awful close. This isn't good. <laughs> You're good enough where you can call it like that, too. <laughs> I got a little worried, I'll be honest. I was like, ah, shoot. Well, there's a second one. He's flopping a little bit. I got to go, go finish my job. Get him. <laughs> got to love when a buddy, uh, you can trust him enough to make sure he doesn't shoot in your general direction. That's always nice. Trudgies are good for this stuff. Aaron just dropped another one over here. Let's see if we can find this bird too. Come on, bud. Oh, fly in front of me though. Oh, you little, you very good looking, attractive bird, you. See you later. <laughs> he is not scared of you at all. <laughs> turn all right well one landed down here at the water so while he gets a drink we'll go ahead and put the good old stock on him oh how does that work oh both of them just gonna split like that come on got him <laughs> that shot cam footage is gonna be garbage but that was just a pull up and pull we got like three minutes of shooting light left, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and add that one to the numbers. This pen's bit me yesterday, so I know it's hot already. Uh, let me find him. Yep, there's the fence, and there we go. Woohoo! Aw, sneak. Saw that one Look at all of them. Like Two minutes before shooting light, and they're like, hey, let's get a drink. I hit him. I just wasted a vintage shell because he is not slowing down. Kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. Boo. Okay, well, it's the next day because uh, last night was the polar opposite of the day before. There just weren't many birds. Uh, I did go three for four, so today we're gonna come out and see if we can finish out that limit. Obviously, it's a different day. I still have 15 birds to shoot, um, but we're gonna see if I can, you know, get 12 birds in less than you know those 25 shots that i well how many shots i got 21 shots that i have left all right it's the exact same setup as yesterday except i'm solo and the wind is coming in from a different direction there's some doves sneaking in with a bunch of starlings oh what That collard got dusted and still made it out. Wind landed in a tree, three down. And that puts me down another shell. I wasn't gonna shoot at collards because I wanna keep these shells, but it's been real slow. I've been here for about 45 minutes and that's the first shot I've got to take. So hopefully it picks up here soon. Came over to see if I could find him, you know, just in case he died falling out of the tree or something. Nope. Come on in. Don't just go sit in that tree. Probably all gonna short me in that tree. What about this pair? Oh. Where are you going? One. Missed. He's 
uh, I went to pull the trigger and he started doing crazy stuff. Did he go down? He might have went down. I don't know if I can find him though. I'll have to go see. Anyway, put another one in. I've been out here for two hours and that's uh, the second shot. Well, I've been out here looking. I'm seeing birds flying, so I don't want to spend too much time on a bird that... Oh, a barn swallow, you got me. Uh, anyway, I'm not seeing this bird, but the mark was shaky at best. So I'm gonna look a little bit more and uh, we'll go ahead and get back to uh, get back to our post to see what happens. <laughs> no way. What do you know? There he is. That surprised the tar out of me. I would. I. I thought I whiffed on him, but apparently, you know, don't have to be good. You just gotta be lucky sometimes. Hey, I didn't get skunk coming out the second time. Got a long ways to go for the challenge, but you know, the night still has another about 50 minutes left. At least I got a pretty sunset. Been pretty. Oh, of course. I get up and pull out the camera the wrong way. That's not one. Mr. Robin, you about got shot. That was not a good deal. Dub got away. Oh, there's one. Well, I was just going to say, I haven't seen anything since those other ones came by. I got out, walked around a little bit more, decided, well, I'm going to show people the sunset, and bird showed up. Cool. And I almost smoked a robin. That wasn't quite so cool, but I didn't, though. Well, I got to check time real quick. Okay, I got four minutes of shooting light left. Clear there. I got one. I want to make sure I get this guy back. Hey! I didn't think I was going to get another one. I hadn't seen anything well, for a little while. Five, ten minutes or so. And we got another bird. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Well, it's unlikely that I get another shot in the next uh, three or four minutes, but don't know until you try. Well, that shooting light. Didn't see another bird. Boo. Anyway, uh, I guess all the local dove left because there was not a single dove that came to the pond while I was here. Uh, I did have one fly over it and fly in between those trees there um, that I didn't catch on camera, but otherwise, no interest. So apparently a couple days ago when I hit it, it was the only day that there were birds even remotely interested in it. But uh, pretty sure I'm gonna wait till next year to release that video because, well, I can't tell you why, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, let me get packed up and we'll see how the rest of the video goes. So far, uh, this challenge is a fail. I don't like it. We'll see what it, we'll see what we can figure out though. I literally just turned off the camera. It's been 30 seconds since I just told you guys that I was gonna figure something out. Four birds right over the pond, just... <sighs> They're just like ducks, I tell you, just like ducks. Like, oh, looks like it's safe. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Anyway, just had to show you guys something really frustrating. Well, guys, uh, I haven't been able to work on this video more than just what I have. So, uh, not a lot of shooting. Dove haven't been around a whole lot. Uh, I'm extremely tired. I've gotten about seven hours of sleep in the last two days. And the shop uh, just keeps on you know, needing more attention. So YouTube's kind of suffered a little bit. Sorry, this video was supposed to go up Thursday already. And I'm just now literally an hour before this release finishing this thing up. And I have a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, but big shout out to Big Mike for sending me those shells. I plan on trying to do a part two of some sort. Um, we might go to the dairy and try and get some starlings with them to finish out a limit and see, you know, how many shells it would end up with and uh, seeing how that goes. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching and all that stuff. And big thanks to Big Mike for sending those to me. Again, go check out Dive Bomb. Um, actually, I'm wearing a base layer right now. Super warm. I love this thing. But if any of you guys want to check out any of their products, make sure you go down there in the link in the description. 
They have some great apparel, they have great products. Their dryline stuff is amazing. If you duck or goose hunt, their decoys are great. Give them a shot. I mean, just go go take a look. But um, let me show you an elk and a deer that came in today. Uh, just show you what I'm gonna be working on today. There is an elk that I gotta finish caping out. I gotta cape the head out. But anyway, that guy came in and this deer here. Not super huge, but a good, probably what, 140, something like that. Good deer. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it wasn't an action packed video. Appreciate you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys like, comment, all the good stuff, subscribe. Whether you guys do those things or not, hopefully we'll just see you on the next one.